All right, welcome to part two of Let's Learn Angular together. Welcome back, guys. If you missed the first part, we pretty much just set up the environment for Angular. We installed Angular, and before that, we installed Node.js to use the Node Package Manager. And we uh, did a little bit of altering, let me pull it up, of the HTML in the component class and just saw how the title was bound from the TypeScript file to the HTML file and showed that off that way. And today we're going to talk about components, so get excited for that. And if you haven't watched the first part, I do recommend you do so. And if you have any questions, like I'm going to be copying some CSS from the actual Angular site, like this right here, I will have this linked, this whole tutorial linked down in the description below. So you can follow along with me and copy what you need to as well. And I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff. I am no Angular expert yet by any means. I just started learning it a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago. And I just wanted to share what I've learned so far with you guys. And that's all this channel is, is me learning, sharing, and us learning together that way. So if that interests you, yeah, hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And I forgot something, so we're back to the create the project tab on the tutorial. And we're going to add some styling to the whole application. So if we create a component, and we have the app component already created for us from just the base code. This is just app component CSS. So the app component HTML can use app component CSS, but globally, if I wanted to use CSS that's in here in a different component, I would have to add it to that component CSS file. But there is a global style.css, and we can go ahead and add that CSS right there for the whole entire project. So let me do that. I'm just going to copy and paste all of the code that they provided on the Tour of Heroes website. And like I said, I'll have a link down below so you can go to it and copy what you need to as well if you're following along. And that way, all of our H1s, our H2s, our H3s, our body, our text input, they're already styled throughout our whole project, not just component-based. So I'm actually uh, I'm in this Tour of Heroes directory, and I have to CD to Tour of Heroes project and then source, and then app. And in this, we're going to create a new component. So I like to think of the app component as the starting component. I know I said the index.html, I guess, is technically the, the parent component, but the app component is one tier down, and it's what gets bootstrapped with the project when you go to load it. Um, so in here, we're going to create a new component, and the command for creating a new component it starts with ng, so it's an Angular command, and then generate component, and then whatever you want to name it, and the tutorial wants us to name it heroes, uh, and there's actually a shortcut, so instead of typing all that out, you can go ng, g for generate, c for component, and then heroes, just like that, and we'll hit enter, and soon you'll see another directory be created in this app. Here it is with the heroes and here are all of our hero component files. So the spec file is actually for testing. So you don't have to worry about this unless you plan on doing some unit testing in the future. I'm actually going to delete this. And then we're left with a TypeScript file and an HTML file and they just put heroes works right there to start out with in a CSS file, which has nothing in it. And if we look at our TypeScript file, it looks very similar f to the app component TypeScript. Here is the tag that we can use to put it anywhere in our HTML. And we have constructor and on init. So if you put some code right here in the on init, every time this is initialized, or right after it's initialized, it'll go ahead and run the code that's put right here. So let's just show that this works. And if everything goes well, we should see heroes works. And let me copy the selector here that we're going to use as a tag and then i'm going to go back to our app component html i'm going to delete every single thing in here and just put the tag app heroes save and i'll make sure to save this even though we didn't really do anything i think i just hit enter and then let's just do uh, ng serve again and then dash dash open to open it in a browser for us and so it popped up in my other monitor and here we go heroes works so you can see that we are actually seeing our component and if i were to change it so let me put it back over there for a second let me go to where is it 
I guess I got to pull it up here is the HTML and let's just put an h1 and say hey again and then save it quickly loaded and there we go you can see the change has been made and refreshed in our browser for us pretty sweet so a few things about the TypeScript file that's part of this particular heroes component so we talked about the selector that's what you can use as a tag the template URL so you have actually a couple options you can either do template and if you were to do template like this you could actually have some just HTML in here so you can say h1 hello and uh, just for the sake of things let's comment this out put a comma there we'll save this refreshes you can see hello is right here because we changed it from okay we're gonna use this HTML document to actually let's just put our HTML in this component they call it a decorator and a decorator is just a bunch of metadata for this class right here that's going to follow this decorator so you can do it two ways everyone seems to prefer yeah let's just have a separate HTML document I think that makes the most sense but if you have just a little bit of HTML and you don't feel like having a whole separate HTML document, you can just use template and have it just in the TypeScript file itself. Let's comment that out. Let's bring this template URL back. And yeah, this is the path to the HTML file. That makes sense. And then the style URLs, you can have multiple CSS files if you choose to, but it just, when we create the uh, component, it just gives us one, which is more than enough for me. <laughs> But I suppose if you wanted to bring in a different component CSS file, there's really nothing stopping you, to my knowledge, that you can just add it here in this, uh, in this array and say, I want to use this other CSS file as well. And something else it did for us when we created this component from the command line is it added to our app module that we're going to have this new component, the heroes component that we just created. It added it into our module. And our module just puts together everything that we need, whether it be components, whether it be services that we'll talk about in the future. It puts together everything that we need in this one class. And this app module is going to be bootstrapped whenever this project starts up. So, so far we have two components. We have the app, com app component, which was created right off the bat for us. And we just created this heroes component. Notice I didn't have to code any of this into the import or put it in the declaration. Uh, creating it from the command line interface did it all for us, which is pretty nifty. So above our constructor and our heroes component TypeScript, I'm just going to, and they do this in the tutorial too, let's create our own hero. And they cr they say Windstorm is the name of their hero. I'm gonna make something a little, uh, a little different, I guess. I'm gonna name my hero Big Boy. Not the burger chain, but I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me why I chose that. So we have this new property hero that we just created. And like we did in the first episode, Let's just, uh, let's just, let me find the heroes component. Let me just put it in here. Let's just bind it inside of this H1. So we do two uh, opening and closing curly braces. Lucky enough for me, VS Code, when I hit the two opening, it just adds the two closing, so it's kind of cool. And then hero, geez, not two E's. <laughs> I swear I'm not drunk. Uh, let's save that and let's see if this changed and it did indeed it says big boy right now pretty cool so once again we've shown that we can bind this hero property in our HTML from our TypeScript class and then next in the tutorial they do something we already did they added the selector or the tag into the app component HTML and then above that they actually put the title property and let me make sure we still have that in the app component. Title is testing. So let's uh, change it to tour of heroes, I guess. And we'll save that. And we'll make sure we save the HTML. And now if I look at it, we have the title. And then we have the component we just made, which just has an H1, was it? Of the hero property of the heroes class. And if you're confused right now, don't feel bad. I was super confused with all of these different things going on at once when we talk about the module. Uh, this is everything that's bootstrapped and we talk about all these different components and what they do. I think once we go through it more and more, it'll get more familiar with you or you'll be more familiar with it. I don't think it's going to be more familiar with you. 
But the best way to think of components is just pieces of the overall user interface, right? I have this piece, which is the heroes piece, and then I have the bigger piece, which is the app component piece. And maybe, and I'm sure we will, we'll add extra pieces in the future. So I'm sure we'll add something for when we go to change properties of a hero and we'll have another piece for displaying it differently. Um, this is just the beginning. So if you're confused, play around a little bit. Don't feel bad doing that. Uh, maybe you can make sure you save it and then save it elsewhere and then play around with it. So if you mess it up, you can go back to the original version. But it's always good just playing around, maybe breaking something and try and get a feel for what's really going on under the hood. So that's all we're gonna talk about in this. We created a component and don't forget that you don't have to write out, this is one of the best parts, generate, which I'll probably misspell, and then component, and then the name of it. You can just do G, C, and then whatever you're going to name your component. That's, that's one of the slickest things um, I've found out about the command line interface for Angular. So stay tuned guys. In the next one, we're gonna talk about an interface and how we're gonna use that as a type, kind of like a class, and create heroes from that type, using that type. And uh, just go from there, go through the tutorial as, as we started. So thanks again for watching, hope to see you in the next one, and take care.